Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the man who guarantees ultimate success, L. Vaughan Spencer. Feel that? We've already begun, haven't we? Hi. Hi. So who are you who guys at the front? Are you all together? No. Well, tonight we're all together, aren't we? Yeah? What's your name, honey? Eve. Eve, are you single? So let's move on, shall we? That's just... What's your name, pal? Julian. Julian! Well done, Julian. Give everyone give Julian a big round of applause. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Well done, Julian. You made it here tonight. Well done, well done, congratulations. Welcome, willkommen, bienvenue, benvenido, as foreign people say. Welcome to the Elvon Spencer Succeedo Weekend Workshop on a Monday. Hey, Julian, would you like to make a million dollars? Very much so, here you go. <laughs> Too late! Too late, you see, Jeff, wake up. Those kind of opportunities come but once in a lifetime, my friend. Those opportunities, Sinead, come but once in a lifetime, my friend. They come but once and you just missed your chance, you see, because inside this envelope addressed to you, to you, Julian, is a cheque for one million dollars. One million dollars, you could have taken it, but you missed your chance. Wake up, Jeff, you see. That kind, of, that kind of opportunity may never come along again, or will it? That's up to you, my friend. Yes? Let me ask you this. Do you want to be a succeeder? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course, I believe in yeah. Good, yeah, I can work with yeah. Yeah. It's a good word, isn't it? Yeah. That's what I call myself, a succeeder. I help people become succeeders. My website is called www.thesucceeder.com. Who else wants to be a succeeder? Good, well done, Jeff. Thanks. All right, Brad? Yes. You see, I don't talk about winning because that means there must be losers. Julian, yeah? As I said, I'm a succeeder in a long line of succeeders. Let's list them. Julius Caesar, Abraham Lincoln, Simon Cowell, all of whom... <laughs> Undoubtedly use my methods because I realized many years ago, John, that my destiny was to work for good, was to make the world a better place. Because I'm, I'm a life coach, Jeff. Do you have a life coach? I coach life. Yeah, Brad, that's a worthy degree subject. Because my destiny is to make the world a better place. I work for good. You know, I coach life, if you will. I help people to succeed in French, succede, in Latin, succedio, in Esperanto, succederanto. <laughs> I'm a lifestyle coach, Julian, that's what I do. An executive coach as well for people in real jobs with proper companies. That's what I do. I help people, Jeff. Executive coach, that's what I do because I am the impresario of your best case scenario. Say yes to success. I'll show you how and why and when and wow. You know, it's time, it's time to heal, it's time to feel. Yeah, you could say that I'm reinventing the wheel. Now, I succeederize individuals, I succeederize organizations. For example, I spent time with a logging company in, in Vancouver. That's in Canada, Julian. And we went on a team build weekend, a team build weekend, you know, with a real budget. You probably won't experience this as an undergraduate, but a real budget and a real event. We're in Vancouver, we spent time. We spent logging time out there. We spent time, we did it. How do we do We did deep bonding, real bonding. How do we do it? We did it by embracing bushes and making motivational muffins. <laughs> Then I spent two days alone with the chief executive without sleep or food or clothes. We role-played. We role-played. We role-played 43 succeeder scenarios over an open fire. You know what happened, Julian? He emailed me this morning. You understand that, John? He emailed me this morning. He sent me an email. That means the company is doing real well, thanks to me. I can tell you, because turnover is up 76%. Profits are up 23%. But staff turnover is down, way down to minus 11%. <laughs> Do the math, <laughs> Mr. Electronic Engineer. Ne negative 11%, less than all. That means people who had left are asking to come back. <laughs> Ouch. Call the cops. Keep this frequency clear. But you know, I'm the bad boy of business. I'm the iconoclast who moves too fast. 
For what I'm attempting is nothing less than a heist on the zeitgeist. A lot of people don't approve of my methods because I don't play by the old rules. Oh, no, I don't play. But I'm good. Yes, sir, I'm very good. Just take a look at my record. Results speak louder than insults, you know? I think of myself... I think of myself as the M&M of motivation. I'm the 50 cent for the white collar dollar. I'm the P. Diddy of personal development. <laughs> Jeff, do you know who P. Diddy is? No, OK, well, for old people like you... <laughs> think of me as the Paul Daniels of personal <laughs> development. I think of myself as Che Guevara. Che, remember him when you were in the... When you were a student like him in the 60s. <laughs> che Guevara, he reminds me of myself in so many ways. He was out there in Cuba in the revolution. Come join the Elvolution. <laughs> Come join the revolution. He was out there in the jungle. I'm in the corporate urban jungle too, yeah. He reminds me so much. He, he was kind of a 60s Latino Pete Doherty. <laughs> I kind of reminds me of myself. He was a mixture of Jay-Z, Karl Marx and Enrique Iglesias. <laughs> he was a rebel. Me too. I'm the rebel and your income I will treble, yeah. <laughs> Jennifer Lopez. Uh, what does she call herself, Jeff? You've... J-Lo, of course. Well, I'm not J-Lo. I am Elvo. Yo, I is not J-Lo, I is Elvo. I is the badass cyber coach. I is the shaman for the layman. It's a no-brainer, I'm your management trainer. Think of me as a safe container. I is your tutor for the future. I hope it suits you. I do alchemy from the balcony of your psyche. <laughs> my mission is the fruition of intuition in which I give tuition. My nutrition is your lack of ambition. My enemy is your inhibition. I is the sage for the new age of rage. It's time to turn the page. I is your exultant consultant. I is your facilitator like an elevator. I will take you to the top floor of your personal metaphor. Get off your couch, you slouch potato. I is the gangster motivator. <laughs> There was once a young man, doesn't matter what his name was, but this young man had founded a highly successful business with a turnover in excess of 12,000 pounds. <laughs> but he knew there was more to life than high finance, so he went to live with a tribe in Borneo. He, he discovered that they have no word for failure. That's no concept of failure. He then went to live with the primitive hill tribes in Peru and found that they have no translation for logistics. <laughs> Trading whilst insolvent. <laughs> but there, under the shade of an old oak tree, this young man, doesn't matter what his name was, but this young man had found it. He found something more important than ever he found in the corporate West. And now those tribes... Now those tribes have a new word in their lexicon. That word is Elvorn Spencer. <laughs> for yes, ladies and gentlemen, it, for them it means succeeder. Yes, I was that young man, Julian. That was no allegory, that was fact. I've removed the word failure from my lexicon. It's gone. I don't use the word failure. So Julian, stop thinking of yourself as a failure. <laughs> You're not a failure. You're not a failure. You're not a failure. What are you? You're not a failure. You're a non-achiever. A non-achiever. <laughs> I've studied many of these ancient and primitive societies. I've learned much. Here now, my wisdom. I spent time in North America with the Red Indians. Or to be more um, uh, politically correct, I, know, I should say the native Red Indians. <laughs> But I learned their ways. They took me in as one of their own. They gave me a new name. Talking Bull. <laughs> me, Talking Bull. I am Talking Bull. Soon I was ready to become a medicine man. That's what I am now, kind of a motivational medicine man. Yeah. I am the physician who has healed thyself, myself. I am the Cherokee of therapy. <laughs> I is the catchy Apache. Elvo is the Navajo of the gung-ho super ego. But you know, I bring potions for the mind which are more digestible by the heart. Because you know, a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine man go down. <laughs> In 
the 21st century, we find that men are in crisis. Men are in crisis. Should real men eat quiche? Should real men eat quiche? Or should we be eating humble pie? Quiche or humble pie, either way, it's a nightmare if you're avoiding wheat and dairy like me. How can we simple men deal with the pace of gen the changes in gender lifestyles and the advances in shaving technology? Do you wet shave? Do you dry shave? Pre-shave skin scruffing lotion? Skin scrub, balm, gel, lotion, aloe vera. It's a minefield, guys. And if men are in crisis, then so too are women because they're very nearly spelt the same. Well, what is it to be a man? You know, when women can wear trousers? Women, women can quite literally wear the trousers. Women can do the same jobs as men and be paid nearly the same. <laughs> Julian, I had a guy like you come on my Watford Warrior weekends. Before he came to me, he thought of himself as just a house husband. He wasn't sure. He was just a house husband. Now he's a creative family succeeder leopard. A leopard! His personal fire is burning. He's found his inner gladiator. He started his own business. He's an entrepreneur. He started his own business online. He sells tambourines and coriander. <laughs> yeah, I'm a feminist. Sure I am. I do actually believe we, sh we should allow women to be equal to the rest of us. <laughs> so that's why I won a, a women's empowerment workshop. To empower the ladies, Eve, yeah? Sinead, yes. To em yeah, I can empower you, honey, yeah. You know, it's they arrive as girls and they leave as princesses. It's adorable to see these women truly empowered. You must only eat food that begins with the same letter as your name. <laughs> food is harmonious for you. This is the alphabet diet. This is letterology applied to food. So my name is L. Vaughan Spencer. L. I eat lamb, leeks, liver, lettuce. And lamb's lettuce is doubly good. And lozenges. Tim, he eats uh, tomatoes, trout, tagliatelle, and tinned food. <laughs> Sinead, Saman, what should you be eating? Sausages, sandwiches, swordfish, sauerkraut, yeah? Eve, eggs, eels, edam, emu, Oliver. Olives. <laughs> Thank goodness you didn't have to go too far on that one. Just the one letter. Oranges. Oxtail, yeah. Oats. Offals. Offals, yeah. Neil. Nuts. What? Nectarines. Nuts. Noodles. Nesquik. Julian. <laughs> John? Jeff? Are you with a J? I thought so. So what do you think, what, guys? What do you think? Jellyfish, Jaffa cakes, joints of meat, jackfruit, John Dory, julienne of vegetables, Japanese food. Are you a lion or are you a vole? Be king of the jungle, don't be like Bungle. Stop being pathetic and weedy. Don't be needy, be succeedy. Identify your goals. Walk on coals, deny the sausage rolls. <laughs> Motivitalize, prioritize, digitize and moisturize. Take good care of your face, get out and win that race. Touch your crystals, load your pistols, rearrange for change, hug your inner thug. My name is Vaughan, V-A-U-G-H-A-N. V is for vitality, A is for ambition, U is for you, G is for goals, H is for hair. A is for ambition, N is for now. You are strong, you are tough. Failing's wrong and that's enough. You are leaders, you are succeeders. Forget about the bottom feeders. You are failure haters, you are gladiators. Vavandi, Vavandi, you start next Monday.